Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. This is your bonus weekly love reading. Um, so hopefully there's something here in the cards uh, centered around love that will help you Aries this coming week. I really do appreciate you tuning in. If you were after a personalized private reading, please feel free to reach out. Um, I will be using a couple of different decks, reading some reversals as well. Um, so sit back and enjoy and let's see what comes up Aries. Uh, around you for love this upcoming week. Aries. Okay. quite Could be quite a dramatic week. Um, often the Tower card can bring about dramatic experiences and feelings. So we'll see. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. Got the Ace of Chalices and one more card. Uh, the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Okay, um, potentially what's really dominating the week for you, Aries, is that uh, Tower card here. So uh, you normally are represented by the Fool, but for this week you've come up reversed. So your energy is reversed, Aries. You're potentially not in a um, optimal place when it comes to love or you're not feeling overly confident. But I like that um, when the Fool does come up reversed, it could indicate, um, it could very well indicate that uh you are wising up about a situation because the fool was seen as the gullible one, the submissive one, but you're actually reversed here, Aries. So I think you're actually catching on to something happening around you. Now, let me just shift my camera. Um, it could be this dramatic tower moment. It's sort of like unforeseen circumstances coming up around you. Uh, but I feel like ultimately they might bring you balance somehow because we see the Wheel of Fortune. This is like the karmic laws of the universe. And things have a funny way of balancing themselves out again, Aries. So if you have been in this stage and there has been something to do with pain or hurt or betrayal, which the Ten of Swords can represent, um, I feel like there is a possibility for forgiveness uh, it could be quite an emotional week. We see the moon. The moon can be the, uh, the sign of cancer coming up around you. Cancer can be past attachments, moodiness or temperament. And seeing that with the ace of chalices, I feel like it is some sort of emotional release. It could be that you're venting something here, Aries. You've been holding on to something for so long and you may feel like it's time to release it all, release all that tension and all that emotional pent up energy. And maybe that's the balance you're searching for when it comes to love. So whether you're single and trying to heal from a situation or whether you're experiencing this with a special person, it could indicate that you you are sort of um, you are sort of releasing it. But the Seven of Pentacles would indicate that there's a lack of growth. You can see she's sort of planting the pentacles here, um, you know, often representing a card of contemplation, a card of taking the time out to put in the hard work, um, to reap what you sow, to invest. But there's lack of investment here, Aries, because this is reversed. Uh, pentacles can represent earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, so for some of you, you may be seeing an earth sign isn't investing as much. Um, especially if you sort of have sort of these dramatic events or conversations take place, you may see lack of investment here and you're sort of going up against them one on one. And I say that because you can see the peacock and the serpent uh, sort of going at it. They're sort of, it's like a climactic, let's just tackle it head on. It is what it is. And um, he's sort of like the serpents are coiled. So they're so intertwined. So uh, this makes me think this is a complex issue. So what could be dramatic could bring about more complexity when it comes to love. And suddenly things get more intertwined or more twisted than they actually are. And this can represent things like confusion. Um, the moon can be can most certainly represent things that confuse us, things that are somewhat mysterious, or even things that are subconscious here. Uh, but I feel like there's a release the ace of chalices this this fountain can represent like an emotional release especially following this um but the full reversed is like a non-tolerant behavior so you may no longer be invested in some way aries you are coming up reversed so maybe this is a lack of investment on your part in the relationship or there's lack of interest coming from you and you may come to notice that and what you've built up 
this strong, sturdy tower, what you've built up could definitely come crumbling down. And there's two people that are falling here. So it's something you've both invested in and both created, but that could come tumbling down because of unforeseen circumstances. And maybe the ending, the Ten of Swords can often indicate an ending. So it can indicate a separation or a breakup um, or a breakdown of a connection of some kind here. The tower can also be a phallic symbol, as can the serpent. Uh, so this could be like a sexual connection um, or someone who's trying to like lure you in or physically like draw you in. It could be like the temptation to go back to an ex for one night. It could be someone who's sort of been playing around with you. Maybe only wants the fun stuff with the tower card um, and you're starting to notice this. Because that realization, you are coming up with that realization. Um, the, uh, the ace can point to beautiful new chapters in our lives. So for some of you, there is a new chapter in love. It may be with a new person. It may be with someone you actually maybe even rejected once upon a time. Um, or you may you may have done things before, but you maybe you didn't do things right, Aries. And this time it may be different. Okay, it's almost like this new beginning. Um... But I wonder if there's going to be lack of investment. And maybe that that could sort of like pose the two of you against each other in a way. And that's not really healthy either. Um, in the Greek myths, I think that, that there was a Greek goddess um, who put all these a thousand eyes. Uh, there's a myth in the Greek tradition, in the ancient Greek tradition. She put a thousand eyes um I think to to uh, uh, to search for. Um, I think the tradition is something that she put a thousand eyes on the peacocks to search for her husband's faithfulness. I forget which goddess this was. So I don't know if this is like um, if the thousand eyes here um, is is stalking. I don't know if it's like vigilance. I don't know if you're trying to like tread carefully or this is like. You may even be doing like a probation or trial period in your relationship or in your marriage um, or sort of like all eyes open or eyes shut some, some something here. Um, it could even be like this stalking behavior. It could be like trying to search for something here and it could have something to do with unfaithfulness um, as, as the myth goes. So whether or not that's happening in your relationship obviously is going to vary, um, Aries, but I do hope there's something here that does help you along the way this week. So I really do appreciate uh, you popping over. Please feel free to reach out if you were after a private read. Um, otherwise, thank you again for all your support, Aries, and uh, hopefully we shall be in touch very soon. So uh, take care, everyone. Have a wonderful week and bye for now.